Welcome to the Singapore National Eye Centre. For patients who are here for the examination or treatment of squint or lazy eye, you could go through a range of tests. Squint or strabismus is a condition where the two eyes are misaligned. That is, one eye looks straight and the other eye appears to look away. Lazy eye is a lifelong condition where poor vision in one or both eyes is caused by an impediment to normal visual development during childhood. The visual equity test is used to determine how well a person can see. It tests a person's ability to read the smallest letters on a standard chart called the Snellen chart, held 6 meters away. People with poor vision will not be able to read the smaller letters. A patient will need to go through a full visual assessment in order to diagnose the presence of a screen or lazy eye. The type of test vary according to the age and developmental abilities of the patient. A typical basic orthoptic screening will include the following investigations. Steropsis is the ability to use both eyes together to appreciate depth. The test involves slightly different images presented to each eye. Each eye captures its own view and the two separate images are sent to the brain for processing. When the two images reach the back of the brain, they are united into one picture. The brain combines the two images by matching up the differences. The combined image is a three-dimensional sterile picture. The ability to demonstrate steropsis indicates normal use of both eyes. Common stereo equity tests used are The Lang 2 test card consists of four images made up of random dots which presents slightly different images to each eye. The two images are fused by the brain to produce a stereoscopic or 3D image. The star is the control image and can be seen by everyone, with or without steropsis. The car, elephant and moon require steropsis to be seen. The elephant is the easiest to see, while the moon is the most difficult. This test can take 2-3 to three minutes. This stereo test consists of three test plates of different thicknesses. There is a hidden circle within one of the four squares on each plate. This can only be detected if steropsis is present. Test plates are presented to the patient at a distance of about 40 cm. It is suitable for a wide age range, even young preschoolers, and the test takes about 2-3 to three minutes to complete. Detection and measurement of screen. Strabismus or screen is a visual problem in which the eyes are not aligned properly and appear to be looking in different directions. One eye may look straight ahead while the other eye turns inward, outward, upward or downward. The eye turn may be present at all times or it may come and go. The best way to detect strabismus is by using the cover test. The test requires minimal equipment and is carried out on children. It is an objective test and relies on accurate observations of the examiner. An occluder, a lamp cube and a near and distance fixation target is required for the test. Interesting fixation targets such as pictures or toys are used as they will maintain a child's interest which is essential to carry out the cover test accurately. This test is done to detect the presence of a screen, misalignment of the eyes. It involves careful observation of the eye movement to look at the target while each eye is covered and uncovered. If a deviation is detected on the cover test, it can be measured using the prism cover test. This involves the use of prisms to measure how much the eye is turning. The cover and prism cover test provides important information about the type and extent of screen. The cover and prism cover test usually take about 10 minutes to complete respectively. 
The eye muscle movements are assessed by using a fixation target held in front of the patient and moved into the eight different eye positions. The purpose of this test is to detect any restriction of movement of the eyes and pinpoint which muscle is affected. This test can be completed in two to three minutes. Vision of babies and developmentally challenged patients is tested using the Teller Equity Cards. The principle of this test is that a child prefers to look at a pattern rather than a plain background. The test cards consist of a black and white grading placed on the left or right of the card. The child's response towards the pattern is noted. The gradings are graded in size. This test takes about 3 to 5 minutes to perform. K picture test. Children who are able to recognize pictures can be assessed using K pictures. This test uses pictures of decreasing size from large to small and these are presented to the child on a card. The patient is required to identify the picture by naming it or matching it with a key card. This test can take up to 10 minutes to complete. The sleep lamp is used to examine the front of the eye. It allows the eye specialist to have a highly magnified view of the eye structure to evaluate the eye health and detect any signs of infection or disease. A range of eye conditions can be detected with slit lamp examination, including cornea or lens abnormalities. A refraction test is used to determine the spectacle power. During refraction, an optometrist puts an instrument called a trial frame in front of the patient's eyes, together with a series of lenses of various powers. The patient's vision is then tested with these lenses. The optometrist will continue to fine-tune the lens power until the vision is clearest. The lenses with which this level of vision is achieved is the spectacle power of the eye. Refraction determines the degree of far-sightedness, short-sightedness and astigmatism. The test takes about 10 to 20 minutes to complete. Dilation of the eye is necessary for the eye specialist to examine the optic nerve at the back of the eye, as well as to determine if there are retinal diseases. Eye drops will be applied to enlarge or dilate the pupil. About 30 minutes is required for the eye drops to take effect. The eye specialist will then use an instrument known as the ophthalmoscope to examine the eye. Patients may experience blurred vision after the dilation for up to 4 hours. Some may experience glare in daylight and in these instances, wearing sunglasses may help to minimise this. With the test results, the child will need to consult the doctor again. The doctor will advise on the follow-up required and will prescribe medication if there is a need for it. For patients with a significant squint, the doctor may recommend surgery for the correction of squint.